In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for SrNO3 2 plus H2SO4, strontium nitrate plus sulfuric acid. So the first thing we need to do when we write net ionic equations, we need to balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation. I can see right away that the nitrate, I have two nitrates here and just one over here. So I'm going to put a 2 in front of the HNO3. That balances the nitrates. That also balances the hydrogens, strontium, and the sulfate. This is the balanced molecular equation. Now we can write the state for each substance. If you know your solubility rules, nitrates are very soluble. So we write AQ for aqueous. It'll dissolve and dissociate into its ions. H2SO4, that's sulfuric acid. That's a strong acid, one you should remember. This will also dissociate into its ions. So we'll put aqueous. And then strontium sulfate. Sulfates are often soluble, but there are a few exceptions. One of the exceptions is strontium sulfate. This is insoluble. When these two react, we'll produce this insoluble compound. It'll be a solid, and it'll fall to the bottom of the test tube as a precipitate. Then we have nitric acid. That's another strong acid, so we'll put AQ after that. So we have the states for our net ionic equation. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into ions. That'll give us the complete ionic equation. Strontium, that's in group 2 on the periodic table. We'll put a 2 plus there. And then the whole nitrate ion, good one to remember, is 1 minus. So we have the strontium ion, SR2 plus. I won't write the states now. Let's do that at the end. And then two nitrate ions. With the sulfuric acid, hydrogen group 1, that'll be 1 plus for each one. And then the whole sulfate, 2 minus. Two hydrogen ions and then we have the sulfate ion. In the products, we don't split solids apart in net ionic equations. So we're just going to write SrSO4 for our solid strontium sulfate. Hydrogen, we said, is 1 plus, and then the nitrate, 1 minus. So two hydrogen ions, just like in the reactants, plus we have two of these nitrate ions, also just like in the reactants. So this is our complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out the spectator ions. They're on both sides of the complete ionic equation. In the reactants, I see there are two nitrate ions right here. Also, we have those in the products, spectator ions, which we can just cross out. We have two hydrogen ions in the reactants and in the products. Let's cross those spectator ions out. And that gives us the net ionic equation for SrNO32 plus H2SO4. I'll clean this up, write the states, We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for strontium nitrate plus sulfuric acid. You'll note the atoms are balanced and the charge is balanced as well. 2 plus, 2 minus, that gives us a net charge of 0. In the products, this is neutral, net charge of 0. This is Dr. V with the balanced net ionic equation for SrNO32 plus H2SO4. Thanks for watching.